Sixth place in that relay as we get ready for the women's 1500 meters. Jenny Berenger Simpson has the collegiate record, the only one ever under four minutes. And there is the defending champion, the senior from Arizona State, Shelby Houlihan. And she looks like she's getting ready for Dwight for a boxing match. The Arizona State senior is confident in the outcome, no matter how the race sets up. You know, I think I, I, I feel pretty confident in myself right now. Uh, I feel a lot stronger than I was last year at this time. So I think whether it's a slow race or a fast race, whether I'm in the front or the back, I, I feel pretty confident that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to stay up in the front and be able to close well. So. That's a very correct analysis from watching her run. She's got two minute, one second, 800 meter speed amongst the best of any competitor here. And she's also slated to run the 5,000 meters one hour and 40 minutes afterwards. Sarah Sunderland, University of Colorado, always produces outstanding distance runners. And this is no exception. This young lady ran very well in the semis and can run with any of these athletes. Rion Price, also the sophomore from Mississippi State. We expect to make an impact here. She is the collegiate leader under 411 this season from Great Britain representing Mississippi State, and there's a collision. We'll try and pick up who that was that went down. Race continues since that was just past 100 meters. Had it been before 100 meters, they would have called it back. Shelby Houlihan very quickly taking the lead. She wants to control the pace, and attempting to beat the first, beat the first to repeat since 2003. Let's take a look and see if we can pick out who it was. It, I believe it's Marta Fritas. Marta Fritas, exactly who it was that went down. And she went down hard, the junior from Mississippi State. She's from Portugal, just arrived over here in January, and she's trying to get back on the hunt. She's got very good 800 meter speed, but this could take something out of you, uh, to say the least. We'll keep an eye and see what happens later in the race. They now hit 400 meters in 65.5 seconds. Very solid pace. Nobody's fooling around out there. Least of all, our leader, the defending champion, Shelby Houlihan. I know there's a little bit less wind than we've been seeing this week. There's still a plenty of good headwind in that backstretch, and Shelby Houlihan is taking it right in the face. The athletes behind her using that, using her a little bit as a draft, but they aren't in single file, so that, that it means to me that it's not all that fast. Dwight, you know, when you're leading in a race like this, wind or no wind, it actually, they've done scientific studies. It takes 1% of your energy to kind of move the air aside, and it's easy to be positioned directly behind someone who's in the lead. You run a little more easily. Some people psychologically want that lead, and they run better from it. Rian Price, now in second place, is another one who likes and has that alpha personality of pushing the pace. And on the rail on the inside, the senior from Oklahoma State, Natalia Pelushina, is also there in the orange vest. Elise Cranny of Stanford, the freshman, right up there as well. Marta Fritas is starting to fade even further. She took a very nasty fall, a lot of courage to get up there and try and continue to run the race, but there's no way she can get reconnected. 2.14.88, two minutes, 14 and .88 seconds for the 800 meters. So they're not running quite a full mile, but this is a pace of about 4.32 for the mile. And it's within the, what these athletes have done earlier this year without a problem. We should see a very solid last lap. And we watch Rian Price run a lot covering the SEC, and it's not normal to not see her in the lead. Houlihan continuing to push the pace and lead. Rian Price is coming up on her shoulder. She appears as though she wants that lead. And the orange vest falling back is Pollutioner, who is the 2013-1500 meter champion, but started training again in February after 19 months of injuries. One to go. Sarah Sutherland of Colorado is up there in third place, but sort of by herself, not really connected to the leaders. Houlihan, who took the lead right from the gun, and Rion Price of Mississippi State right on her shoulder. It's hard enough to repeat, but it's really tough to do from the front, but that's what Shelby Houlihan has decided she's trying to do from the gun. It is Houlihan continuing to press the pace. Rion Price now makes the move. Houlihan covers it, doesn't want to give her a chance to get into the lead. Houlihan rebuffs the move. Dwight, the person with a better sprint speed is the woman in the lead, Houlihan, who held her off. When you look at their 800 meter speed, it is definitely Houlihan who has a better 800 time. And look at her turn on the jets and start to pull away. Wire to wire, this is very difficult to do at this level of championship racing. 
And she has the better turnover, even though Price is starting to close the gap ever so slightly. And Houlihan may not know it, though the crowd is tipping her off. Price is going to catch her at the wire. Wow. That is some effort. Four minutes, nine, and 53, 56 one hundredths of a second. It's been rounded to at about 19 seconds. And that's what you have for a full mile distance time, about 428 miles. And they did that for 1,500 meters. What a race, huh? What a race. Never give up. She probably looked up and saw that she was gaining and tightening up a bit with Shelby Houlihan, and you never say die. Price made that move with about 200 to go, a little bit more. Houlihan rebuffed it and took off. But because she had run from the front, it took so much out of her, they both ran outstanding times, year-leading times. And I think that's a factor. I think it's a good point that you raised. 63 and a quarter seconds for the last lap for Rian Price. So the sophomore from Mississippi State and Great Britain wins the title, denying Houlihan the repeat. She gets second, Sarah Sutherland.